um, I mean, we put as much, you know, attention to Bama as we did Clemson. And, you know, you know, everything, you know, always going to work out all the time, you know. But it's all right. We're going to get them back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, all the all the younger guys had to step up. You know, they had to you know make a name for themselves. You know, here first until they get on the field, and and that's what they doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In in coverage, you know, tackling a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, you saying how, how has the benefits been as I've been playing? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, like I um, like I told them earlier. I mean, the more reps and reps that I get, you know, the more comfortable, confident I, I become. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just it it makes it makes things easier. It um, slows the game down. You anticipate things instead of guessing or you know doing certain things like that. What you you know. Usually wouldn't do, but now you know. You know now you faster to it. Yeah. I'm good. I'm hunting. Mm -hmm. Do you like being a leader? Like, is that something do you enjoy? Like taking from the young guys aside, or do you kind of have to like force yourself? Nah, I do love it. I'm not always, you know, the vocal, you know, the vocal guy, like the high rah rah guy. But I try to, you know, lead in what I do, and and I try to just be, you know, that visual leader, you know. But I'm, I don't have a problem with, you know. Taking somebody aside and talking to them, hey, you know, you do this, do this, do that. You know, I don't have a problem with that, and, and I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm definitely ready. I mean, that's that's why you come to Ohio State. You know, I sat behind Jeff. You know. Damon Arnett, you know, all these guys, you know, and, and, and now it's my time, you know. It's going to be your time at some point, and, and now it's mine. What did you learn from those two guys? Because they practiced a bit. I mean, their first time. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you learn watching those two guys? Um, you know, Jeff and um, Damon, they're two different types of corners. And, um, you know, aggressive and, you know, the feet work and, you know, just having knowledge and anticipating things um, I got from both of us, both of them. Picks. Picks. That's what I do. Picks. For sure, you know, you know, the DNs like, you know, Tyreek and Zach and, you know, the newcomers and even, you know, Teron and everybody like that. You know, pressure, you know, you know, we don't have to cover as long and we, you know, you know, get the picks like I said. So it's it's a it's a win win. Uh JK and Jordan? Uh, great, you know, they flying around, you know, hitting, tackling, covering. You know, they're gonna be good. They're gonna be great. Mm -hmm. What sets them apart? Why, why do we have to be the, the bigger play that Sam West kind of hits it? What's in it about him that's so special? Um, you know, I always heard the, you know, the hype and the buzz about him, but I didn't see until he got here. You know, he a big kid, you know, um, athletic at that. Um, he going to be good. He going to be a good asset to the team for sure. Um, you know, Zach has just been, you know, Zach, he has grown up, you know, he's doing what he got to do to help the team as well. You know, everybody got their own, you know, part they need to do to help the team, and Zach going to be a big contributor.
Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Cam. You know, Cam, Cam. You know, like a lot of people on the team, like you know, if y'all ask me, like, what are them? They, they themselves. You know, they, they gonna play. They gonna play hard. You know, do what they gotta do. Oh, for sure. You know, even when you know, even when you sit on the sideline, just for a play or two, you gonna, you know, see some things that you don't see when you're on the field, and you gonna, you know, be able to, you know, take that into your play and do it when you get on the field. Um, like I said, we got way more time now than last year to break things down and learn and, you know, you know, put things out there as a whole. And I feel very confident in our safeties, free safeties, and everybody that's behind me, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, the best thing for us and for uh, Josh has what what he's been doing is communicating, and that's uh, that's the, that's the best thing about a defense. When you communicate and you call things out, you're gonna be a good defense. Was that missing last year? Was that missing last year? Last year was last year, you know. Last year. Maybe it's you know different pressure than when people talking about it, you know, like that. But to me, I do, what's, <laughs> do I'm a play, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Not thinking about that type of stuff. Um, I mean, just just making sure that I'm right. You feel me? Before I, you know try to help someone else out or anything like that. Make sure I'm right, making sure I know what I'm doing. And then, like I said, when I do that, everybody can just know, no, and that, that's the leader, visual leader that I want to be. Because I'm sure that, you know, you know, you say this a lot of these guys, mm-hmm. I'm sure they're texting you, yeah. telling you it's, it's good time. Mm-hmm. What are those messages like? Because I think that'll probably only add to it if Justin Peters telling you, yeah, we'll be in the first round pick this year. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if they, if they were to text me, I mean, I still keep in contact with, you know, those guys. But, um, you know, whatever, you know, they can help me with it and I can ask them, you feel me? That's what I use to my repertoire, for sure. Who? Court Williams? Yeah. Yeah, Court definitely is the first one in, last one out. Um, even though Court hasn't been playing, you know, how, like, he hasn't been playing, like, how he, like, if he wasn't hurt, he would be in. Um, I think a lot of people grasp for that, you know, because he's, you know, that type of, he, like, he don't really say as much, but when he does, people listen. You know, when he out there, people watch. And, and um, you know, to take from him, um, just, Try to get in there, you know, first one in, last one out as well. You know, just trying to be that type of dude. I think a lot of people expect this young guy to always learn from better competition. Mm-hmm. And the learning can't stop because you are one of the leaders in the group. What yeah. are you learning from the younger guys that are coming into the group? Yeah, um, I always learn. Like I said, when I'm not in or when I'm off, off just rep, like I, like if one of the young guys do something good, I'm like, oh, yeah. And then when we watch film, oh, yeah, I'm going to do what you did. You know, I'm going to you know, learn. As well, just how you learn from me. Sure. So. Think back on last year. How do you evaluate the way you played, and how do you feel like you've gotten better? Um, every play that I could have made, I'm gonna make it this year. You know, every every play that you know I was that close, I'm gonna be that cl- that much closer. Um, you know, just just you know, learning off your mistakes and learning off your past. You feel me? It's it's good. What are the things you feel like you've done so that you will make that play that maybe you didn't make last year? Uh, be in the film room, film room more, you know, watch film um, just alone and not just like chilling or watching a movie, you know, chilling and watch film, you know, you know, 
film, 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 honestly. Uh, it's been a great opportunity, um, for sure. You know, it's it's been it's been a long time coming. I know a lot of people have been fighting for it, um, but now that we have it, just you know, being smart with it. Every you know deal is not a good deal. You just got to watch out for it. Mm -hmm. How do you compart that? What are kind of things you would, would you evaluate if you get approached with a deal to decide who to fight for you? Um, I feel like everybody's different. I mean, if if I like it, and you know. The things are right in the deal, and you know, in the contract or whatever, um, you go with it. You know, whatever your whatever gut feeling, whatever your heart, whatever your team, whatever you're doing, feels good about it. Yeah. Is it surreal being in his likeness? Is it exciting? How would you describe it as a player? Um, a blessing. Yeah, that's what it is. For sure. Um, I've seen Cam um, grow. I've seen Cram, you know, put in extra work. I've seen Cam, you know, do the extra that he probably wouldn't have did, like, you know, two years ago when he first came in or whatever. Just seeing the extra, the extraness. Mm -hmm. Did you see the injury last year change his mindset and make him work even harder? Yeah, like I said, like when he was out, he was learning. You know, he was still helping out and he was still there. You know, still have to, you know, being that leader, he was still there helping and not just, you know, out somewhere else just because he's hurt. He was, he was, you know, contributing. Yeah. Thanks, Seven. You're welcome. Seven, yes, sir. Thanks.